Everything looks busy near the Civic Center right now. <laughs> oh yeah, this is where the ceremony being held today. Sometimes the servers are going to be even busier later. Yeah, let's see. Everything is all. <laughs> Um, we are not blind, we are not blind, we are not blind, I'm not blind, I'm not blind, I'm not blind, oh my god! Oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez, ah! <laughs> you gotta move! Nothing beats ice cream after a job well done! I'm glad that stall in the entertainment district was still there. Although... I'm guessing we won't have much time to relax like this going forward. With all the guild work we need to do. I mean, yeah. But that's why we've got to make the most of every chance we get. Oh, you've got some on your cheek. Mmm. The flavor you got is really nice, too. Knew I should have gotten a double. Amazing weather, delicious ice cream, a primo eating spot. It's like a dream. Huh? What's up? You've gone totally red. Yeah, I still can't get over the way you do stuff like that without batting an eye. I thought I'd gotten used to it. But you still catch me off guard sometimes. Look, I'm even touching my hair, look. See, see, see. I'm fine, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm, <laughs> we're fine, we're, we're just happy. We're just happy, really. Wait, what? What'd I do? <laughs> Don't worry about it. You want another bite? Ah, uh, heck yeah I do. You're the best, Joshua. Lay it on me. Ah. Uh... <laughs> Yeah, maybe not in public. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. We haven't had a chance to do this in ages. Pretty please. Oh. oh. Uh, hey there, you two. We uh, didn't mean to interrupt. Uh, how long have you been there? <laughs> 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 mortify, mortify. <laughs> you need it be. I'm sorry we spoiled your fun. Well, well, you guys could have spaced it when you guys have seen them on their momento because I was watching. <laughs> so I think I have gone as red as you two now. Now that was a sign for sore eyes. I haven't seen a couple so clearly head over heels for one another in a while. You are like two blissfully unaware lovebirds. I was just suffering dessert, I swear. I did try to warn you. It's good to see you three again, also. I suppose it hasn't been that long since Olivier's weddings. It sure feels like it has been how busy we have been ever since. I, I, I wasn't expecting to run into you two. Oh. Oh, is Rena here? We are here on a job for the guild. After signing the ceremony, Calvar and everyone are going to be setting up consulates here, see? So we were asked by the ambassador for both countries in Liber to score their secretaries here. That's pretty big news. The ambassador who hire us are the ones who will be serving as consuls too. Their name is. Ah. <laughs> I'm gonna die. <laughs> oh, my God. Woo. Okay. We are fine. 
You think they, they were mortal enemies at first glance, but they actually completed each other really well. I think they they will both be brilliant meditator in these difficulty times. I trust your judgment, so that's reassuring to hear. Even with the war behind us, there's still plenty of diplomatic problems between the Empire and the Republic like reparations. So here's hoping this consult goes some way towards normalizing things between the two. <laughs> yeah, that's an issue the entire region is going to need to address going forward. Still, even if there are lingering problems, I really believe the war is headed in a good direction. Me too. I sure hope so. Still, it's not like you are going to be in Crossbell for a while longer, right? We'll have to show you what's new around the city once the signing ceremony is over. I'll introduce you to some of my favorite date spots. Total privacy guaranteed. <laughs> yeah, I think I had enough of being embarrassed in public for one year. <laughs> well, I suppose we all better get back to work. No talk to me more. Ambassador Corrent and Krainak, huh? That really takes me back. You're right, they've been helping us out ever since our earlier days. Oh god, this saga, god damn. So you first met them back when Oliver, Shera and the others were with you too, right? Prince Oliver, you mean when he was traveling around Oliver in disguise? Yep, the first time I met Ambassador Kraina, he couldn't stop laying into Oliver for fooling around. I hear he changed his tune when he found out Oliver was a prince though. Poor guy. I bet he did. I can't imagine that would have made Ambassador Coherent treated him any differently. She's always had a stern personality, but has also been understanding and sympathetic towards the bear. Man, all these reminiscences is making me miss Shera. See, ah! They mentioned Zin! Ah, don't spoil me! Let's drop in on them during our next break. Great idea. In that case, let's get back to work so we can go see them later. Oh, and good luck on your patrols and with the ceremony later, Lloydo. Thanks, Tell. Same to you. You, don't need, you didn't need to tell me that they were here. We, we made our way here as soon as we hear this is where the signing ceremony will be taking place. I think we may have arrived at that early though. Woohoo! I enjoy walking around, taking in the sights, but there's something to be said for relaxing on a bench like this too. My husband and I are going to ta take it easy here until the signing ceremony begins. I had the honor of being interviewed live by the Crossbell Times on this auspicious day. I can still barely believe it. I'm so glad I have to, the chance to, to share this joy with my fellow Crossbellians. Now, would you join me in a cheer? Hooray, Crossbell! <laughs> Hooray for independence! Hooray for the signing ceremony! <laughs> Hooray for Trice in the Sky! Hooray for the Nokiseki! Hooray for. Uh, okay. How do you feel right now? Being interviewed looks fun. I was planning to read him this picture book we borrowed from li the library, but he's all fired up about the interview he saw happen earlier. It's cute how easily excited children are. Preparations for the ceremony are well underway. It's really happening. Today, right here, is where it's going to be signed. I don't think it'll feel real even after I see it. I'm sorry for the roping you into helping here, Tajik. 
this isn't the fi financial division responsibility. <laughs> That's true, but I don't think it's the transportation division job either. <laughs> I'm quite happy to pitch in where I can be helpful. They both look really busy. Get ready for the ceremony. Yeah, let's not be... Oh, let's not be in their way. But let's be in the way of Estelle and Joshua having a momentum. Mm, mm, mm. I love you guys. Hello everyone, did you come here to see Lady Ellie? Yeah, we're on patrol but we thought we'd check in on her while we are here. I'm sure she will be delighted. The two of us came to deliver Speaker McDowell his lunch. Though we also prepare enough for everyone else in the Civic Center to have some. As today in the singing ceremony we made sure to bring the Speaker his favorite meal. Uh, I know what that means. I do remember his taste being on the unusual side. At least he's getting his daily veg. Boo. No. Ah. Feeling parched, my friends? Our fresh juice are here to wash your thirsty way. What the hell just. What? the hell just happened we we are even bringing back an old classic that's been off the menu for a while to commemorate the signing ceremony which classic you ask speaker mcdowell's old favorite the acerbic tomato shake it's an acquired taste but it will perk you up like nothing else man that drink brings back memories I remember us taking one to him back when he was still the mayor. I could barely stomach the bitterness, but you have thought it was milk from how Kia shooted it. <clears throat> oh! We like a 30%? 30% 30. Hello, Loido. It's really reassuring to have you on patrol. Thank you for saying that. If anything happens that headquarters can handle, just let us know and we'll do what we can. Understood. We'll be sure to inform you if we need your assistance. Of course, we'll be doing our best to ensure we can handle things on our own. I see that the police headquarters is back in business. Being here reminds me of my faithful visit two years ago to join the SESS, not to mention the time we helped the vice commissioner. That brings back memories. It didn't take long at all for things to get back to normal after the city's liberation. Dismantling the military police and rebuilding our old police force for peacekeeping in the make of the occupation was a top priority. Yeah, from what I remember, one of the people who played a big part in that was... I cannot commend you enough for all your work this past month. Thank you, Detective. I'm sure it's been an exceptionally challenging time for you, too. It wasn't easy being tasked with a month-long inspection here. But that this ceremony can go ahead is in no small part thanks to your efforts. I'm very... <laughs> I can and should say the same for all the help you've given me in return. And perhaps I should save this until after the ceremony, but congratulations on Crossbell's independence. <laughs> thanks. Hello. Is this part of your patrol? Must be rough. Hats off to you. And you. How many times do I have to tell you not to call me Noe while I'm on duty? <laughs> as many as you want, because I ain't stopping. 
And wow, your CGF uniform really suits you. But today's outfit is just plain cute. Oh, I want to see you in a police uniform one day. I bet you would rock it! And <laughs> you hard pressed to find a pair of sisters who get along better than these two. Maybe, but I really wish she start being a little more independent. If anything, she's been getting worse since we liberated the city, telling me she wants to sleep in my bed when I go home and such. Where's the harm in that? There's nothing more beautiful than sisterly love, if you ask me. See, was it get it? I need to so stock up on vitamin Noel after being away from you for so long. See a doctor, immediately. <laughs> I wasn't aware you were taking the two of them around on your patrol bannings. I'm not sure how I feel about making people who aren't technically part of the force help with our duties. Oh, is having them with me a problem? I didn't think it would be. No, pay me no mind. You know what works best for you at this point. Experience has taught me that trying to get the SCSS to follow police rules to the letter is a fool's errand. I finally accepted that when you carry out that frankly insane plan to storm Orchis Tower last month, that was pretty crazy, wasn't it? I know they put a lot of effort into preparing for it, but still. <laughs> but hey, it worked. I do apologize for always worrying everyone though. By the way, you are Inspector Machias from Thor's Class 7, if I recall right. That's right, it's good to see you again. Just call me Machias though, there's no need to be so formal when we are about the same age. Well, if you're sure, Machias it is then. I hear you've been staying in Crossbell for the last little what? Machias, you should have told me. I know I don't know when. Yeah, I came on an assignment for the inspectorate. I came to observe the withdrawal of military forces from the city after the war, with the recent occupation but behind schedule. And as long as we are on the subject of the war, let me thank you all again to help me with the great twilight. Don't mention it. That crisis hurt us as much as it threatened everybody while reminding everything. Still, it's not like you got one heck of a stressful job. You're a brave one for signing up for it. Ha, <laughs> I get that a lot. It still, it's rare to see you being so friendly with someone. You're usually such a serious foul finder. I've been thinking the same thing. I hear you two are constantly on the little coffee dates too. E easy now, don't be rude you two. I'm simply acknowledge his diligence and dedication. Young men like him are rare breed these eyes and hair color. His work has also given us plenty of opportunities to talk. We got a surprising number of things in common too, and not just our share of love of coffee. I also learned a lot from you during the, that case a while back that we ended up helping resolve together. <laughs> I was just grateful for your assistance with it. While I regret that you will be leaving Crosswell today, the part knowing, knowing that coffee is on me next time you're in the city. <laughs> Tempt me with a good time, why don't you? I'd be happy to take you up on that. I'm sure my work won't be getting any less challenging anytime soon, so it'd be nice to have something to look forward to. The feeling is quite mutual. They really are two peas in a pot, huh? The <laughs> spectacle stress magnet infected sweet sure is a specific wavelet and yet they found each other against all odds. I'm kind of curious what that case they were referring just now to. <clears throat> well, be sure to conduct your patrol with great vigilance. I shall be counting on your unique perspective routine, routine out potentially sign of danger. Should anything happen, you are without a double the group able to act most 
flexible. We'll do our best. Let's do all that we can to make the ceremony a success. Now that some high price they say says has really gone up in your eyes, hasn't it? Yeah, so we are really going to need to pull our weight so we don't let the team down. I'm in charge of keeping all sides coordinated. The first and second division will work jointly to strengthen our defenses. You can remain focused on your mission. I'll be sure to, up to update you if there are any changes to our situation. Roger that. My work here is pretty much finished, but I'd like to return to Crossbell in the future for some official checkups. Work aside, I'd admit admittedly interested in seeing what the future holds for Crossbell as well. I'm guessing you're gonna be spending tonight with SSS, right Noe? In that case, let's get together with mom to tomorrow so we can all throw a party and celebrate Crossbell independence. I can't stop thinking of everything we can do as a family tomorrow. It's going to be a blast. I hope you're looking forward to it. Come on, Fran. You need to stay focused. There's still a lot of work to do today. But I know what you mean for us. I will be looking forward to tomorrow. Oh! Well, look who it is! Dragon Second Lieutenant Seeker and Emisfery along on your patrol, are you? I'm used to seeing the Second Lieutenant around, but it's been quite some time, hasn't it, Emisfery? Emisfery. I will acknowledge your achievement and how you have helped us, but I don't trust you. <laughs> you must have an ulterior motive. Oh, so that's how it is. What about the time you thought you were wife I was having an affair and we saved your marriage, huh? Oh yeah, that was a dozy of a support request. And I remember was he taking along because he just wanted a front row seat to the drama. Hold the phone, this is the first of I'm here on office. Man, Vince Commissioner, you have even worse luck than I do and you are married. That, that was over two years ago. Stop bringing up an ancient history. And it was all a big misunderstanding. Margaret wasn't really cheering on me. I mean, that's not important. We're in the middle of an important meeting regarding the second division security. You must have better things to do than loitering around here. So get back to work. We'll be doing that. <laughs> do you think I struck a nerve? This is why we can't take you anywhere. Oh, hello everyone. Everyone here has been talking about the SSS lately. There is a rumor going around that you will be getting some kind of award for your contribution in reclaiming the city. Yeah, I say you are all the serve one. Seeing all you do is making me want to try extra hard in my own work too. Although I did also hear it cost a small fortune to replace the glass. <laughs> oh, I hear that too. Our accounting department was uh, less than pleased. Wait, really? This is the first time we hear of this. I'm not sure whatever I should be optimistic or fearful of the SESS future. Good morning everyone, this room was being used for a meeting until just a few moments ago. The forces has many divisions but we all need to work together to keep the ceremony participants safe, here's to teamwork. Yeah don't worry if a gigant robot appears again I will not, I will die maybe 5 times and then go and level up and then go back and fight him. But yeah. I need to breathe a little bit. Am I able to enter?
Mm, goodness. This is simply divine. Girlfriend! <laughs> I'm glad it meets with your approval. I can feel my fatigue fading away with every sip. Well noted. It is a variety of Earl Grey from Orid particularly suited for easing exhaustion. I find it goes especially well with these scones, too. Thank you very much. This isn't my first time trying your tea, but I can see you become better at brewing it than ever. <laughs> Why, thank you. I've been renewing my efforts to improve ever since the war's conclusion last year. So, it seems nobody makes a cup like you do, Sharon. It is... It, it, it is serving to dispel some of the ancient tea. I was feeling about this afternoon ceremony too. I feel the same way, and it's giving me the boost I need to work hard this afternoon. I hope we are not interrumping your little tea party, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, Lloydo, and Noel, and Wazi too. Good morning, everyone. I wasn't expecting this. Some faces from Thor's at the Civic Center. What brings you all here? <laughs> oh, we just came to offer the speaker our congratulations of achieving independence. We both have a part to play in everything going on, you see. Oh, really? You may as well pull up a seat now that you are here. Could you bring some more tea and scone, Sharon? Glad, my lady. Oh, we, we don't want to put you through any trouble, but thank you. Oh, now that's an invitation I can refuse. Oh my. Wow, this is good. I'm generally not much of a tea drinker, but I could see myself getting hooked on this. Same here, it really relaxes you to your very core. I've heard from Rin and the ah, others just so good your tea is, Sharon. So I'm happy to have finally tried it. <laughs> I'm honored you will speak of it, so... I know preparing for the ceremony is keeping a lot of people busy, the church included. The two of you have plenty of work on your hands too, I take it. Yeah, Alicia's helping out with the behind schedule, the smiting of Tangram Fortress and repursing the Montations factory. As for Towa, she's been in a... In a <laughs> Invaluable in all the negotiations that allow the ceremony to for file proceed. Wow, that's huge. I had no idea all of that was going on behind the scenes. We really do own you both, huh? I couldn't agree more. I truly appreciate everything you are both doing for us. It's only because of the support of people from other countries like you that today's ceremony could become about all. Oh, as the Speaker of the House allow me to extend my sincere thanks as well. In particular, I cannot thank the Rainford Company enough for its contribution, both financial and otherwise. I the please raise your hand, Mr. Speaker. We were just meeting our obligation as a company, though, so if I'm honest. I just wanted to be able to help out however I call us Alicia. Ed is my friend now, and the people of course will help, help it so much in bringing the great twilight to an end. I'm so grateful. Oh, Thank you, Alicia. I feel indebted to the people here too. Crossville has been dear to my heart since I came as part of the Trade Conference in Torrange during my student years. I'm sure that while everyone helping out has their own reason and experience that I, that I have led them to do so, we are all united in wanting to do what we can for Crossbell, however we can. <laughs> You're not wrong there, I know that's how I feel. 
and it's appreciated, was he? Here, here. I really can't thank all of you enough for what you have done for my home. As someone who cares about Crossbell, I'm just so happy that you'll finally have your independence. But even if our international relationship changes, I hope we can stay close friends, Ellie. I feel very much the same way. Here's to lifting each other up, always. You really have grown into a fine young woman, my lady. Sitting here, it's hard not to believe that Crossbell and Empire can get along. I'm certain we can too. I can see I'm going to need to put my full spirit into the ceremony to avoid being uh, upstaged by my juniors. The tea earlier eased my fatigue greatly, but these old bones could really do with an extra bit of encouragement. Maybe I should order myself another speaker style acerbic tomato shake. I forgotten you were so fond of those. That does sound like something that will perk you right up, though. Oh, I can give up you my personal assure on that. Perhaps I could treat you to one later. Oh, that 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 just be lovely, sir. Everyone really does have a lot going on. Please try not to overwork yourselves to the the detriment of your health, both of you. So this is a special made acerbic tomato shake. I must say it's what it was quite the intriguing flavor. I must research the ingredients later and learn how to prepare it for myself. I don't know if that's a drink you should be eager to foist upon others. Doing all this work takes me back to when I visit the West Zemuria Trade Conference. Crossbell was stuck in the middle of a talk of war between Arbonia and Calvar. That day, you could cut the tension with a knife. And just like that day, the Speaker, SSS and CGF are still fighting for Crossbell. It's thanks to them that Crossbell has come so far. It almost brings a tear to my eye and I'm not even Crossbellian. You know the branch the Rainford Company had over the Harbour District. We ended up hanging it off to the IBC Group as part of the shift in corporate direction and general downsizing of our operations. There are parts of it that are still under renovation but from now on it will officially serve as an IBC facility. I really want an intent to, for the Rainford Company to use its technology for peace from now on. We are working hard to help it turn a new leaf just like Crossbell is about to with the signaling ceremony. Change is in the air. I believe the SSS is the reason that we are able to celebrate this day at all. It makes me proud that such prom promising youth calls my dear Crossbell home. I hope you will continue to support your home for years to come. Alicia and Toba have been being so kind. It helps knowing there are people outside Crossbell cheering for our, our independence. There are still so many issues to iron out on an international level, but think of our friends gives me hope. There are some very distinguished guests staying here today. A lot of conferences are planned for after the ceremony comes to an end, so this is a nerve-wracking time for employees like me. And people like me die. I came to Crossbell for an inspection during the lead up to the war, so this isn't my first time here. But I was immediately struck by just how much more lively the city feels now. Historical Crossbell has always been an imperial territory in the eyes of the Empire, but those days are behind us now. How relations between our countries develop is up to the government back home, not me of course. But I'm certainly hoping that building as consulted here will let us forget 
forge good relations with Crossbell going forward. Welcome to Civic Center everyone. As I'm sure you are aware this building used to be the city hall, but all the administrative functions that used to be handled here are deal with the Orchis Tower now. Well, we are, while we are provincing of the empire, these buildings end up being used to welcome VIPs. But now that our independence is in a sign, it's back to being a civic center being. Please stop by wherever you like, you will always be welcome. Oh my god, but I, I didn't saw you. There's still more talks to have with the surrounding nations so that we can set up a consultation here after the ceremony. That's what brought me here, here today. Having a consultate here means formally accepting Crosswell as a nation state. Wait a second, please don't fall. I need to do something. Wait, I do this. <laughs> and then this. And this freaking this. Ah. Okay, my back. Ah. It's time to finally set in stone a lot of things that have been blurring up until now. This is my first time task since the end of the war. I can't afford to let my country down. This library? I oh, know it's close. Central Plaza. All the lights are passing by. And all my thoughts, they multiply. I see it flash before my eyes. 